Hello again, Fishalots. It's Johnny Fishalot here, and I want to take you from this. Why won't it come out of the wreck? To this. That is how you get out of a wreck. There it is. Johnny. The full, the full caboodle. So let's get into it. And all right, in a previous video, we were flounder fishing, and we were flounder fishing in some really sticky rocks. This is how you lose all your lures and rocks. <laughs> I'm going to use this footage as an example of how you can fish in heavy structure and actually not use your lures on every drift. So you'll see me jigging here, then you'll see me stop and say, uh oh, because I know I got myself hung in a rock. I'm not going to rear back on it. I'm not going to put all my weight behind it and try and force it out of the rock. All I'm going to do is wedge my bucktail in there. I'm going to lose it. So I'm going to give it some slack and then I'm just going to give it a really quick pop in the slack and that pop will actually just kick that bucktail right out of there. So that's the first technique. Just give it some slack. Don't wedge your hook into the rock or whatever structure you're fishing in and just pop it loose. So let's take a look. And okay, so in this clip, you're just going to see me bounce the bucktail up out of the rocks right here, okay? You're going to see me give a couple of nice tugs on there, but notice the slack line in between each of the pops. You see, it's just a pop. I make sure the line is still slack, and then I'm yeah. popping it again. I'm not holding constant yeah. pressure on the bucktail to try and rip it out of the structure, okay? It's a pop, and then slack line, and then you do it again. So long as you could get a bounce, you could usually work those bucktails out of there. And if you like weekly tips that could save you time and catch you more fish, make sure to boink that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything. And another quick tip here is you don't have to tie the absolute strongest knots for your rigging. This way, if you do get hung in the wreck, you could actually get at least a piece of your rig back. So in this case, I'm using a surgeon's loop knot connected to a five, $6 bucktail with a dropper loop knot connected to a tsunami glass minnow and so the glass minnow is also about five or six bucks so if i get the bucktail hung at least i could break that loose and i get 50 percent of the cost of my overall rig back now once you get hung up in rocks about 50 times during the course of the day if you get 50 percent of your rig back that actually adds up pretty good so these knots these loop knots are absolutely perfect for these type of fishing and if you're interested in learning these type of knots and learning other knots exactly like this for different situations that will benefit you the most go ahead and click on this free masterclass I developed where I show you 26 different knots and all sorts of fishing applications that could work best for you. Go ahead and I'll leave a description below and check into the class, which also comes with a free PDF download of all the knots and rigs discussed in the video so that you could take it with you anytime you go fish. Now let's head to my backyard where I'm actually gonna show you how getting a little bit of bounce with your weight could dislodge a hook and it's gonna save you a lot of money and a lot of headaches. All right, and here's what happens, right? So you're dragging along, and Mr. Hook here is just catches whatever kind of debris you're fishing over. So in this case, a fence, but imagine this fence is a piece of wood underwater or, or any other type of structure. So now you keep pulling on it, right? And all you're doing is wedging that hook further and further into the structure. Now, if you just use your weight to bounce it, you're just going to bounce the weight, and the weight will actually unwedge the hook just like that. And that's exactly what you're doing when you're bouncing the weight up off the bottom. And all right, fish lots, let's see these tips in actions. You can see here I'm wedged in there, good. But a little bit of stubbornness and some know-how will get you a long way in recovering your gear, saving you time, money, and headaches when you're out on the water. So let's take a look. Yeah, I'm in there. I gotta bounce that. I should be able to get. Man. Uh, yeah, let me, let me try to salvage my, my craft. Yeah, sorry, I Frank. just donated myself to it. Yeah, I know. Good. Son of a bitch. I'm going to be stubborn and just not. Uh, 
<laughs> that is how you get out of a wreck. There it is. Bonnie. The full, the full caboodle. Oh, you got this shit. <laughs> well, fish lots, getting yourself out of the wreck is one thing, but catching fish is something else. So click on this end card right here if you're interested in catching more fluke.